all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are bringing back a series from 2022. So 2022 was the very first year of my low buy. And what I would do is at the end of each month, I would check in with you guys to let you know how I did on my low buy. So it's not just for makeup, me personally, it's for everything. It's for clothing, it's for housewares, it's for whatever it might be. I just really want to be a little more mindful of my spending. I mean, makeup, skincare, hair care is a huge part of it. But during these videos, here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you everything that I purchased in the month. And really, I keep this to mainly like, you know, makeup, skincare, hair care, and also clothing because I do want to be really cognizant of that. But I'm also going to tell you everything that I received in PR because since this is, you know, a, a way I make supplemental income, I do receive PR. So I feel like it's unfair for me to be like, I didn't bring anything new into my collection because I did, but I was lucky enough to receive it in PR. So I'll tell you what I've received and the value of those things. I'm also going to tell you about items that I wanted to buy, but didn't, ones that I held off on. Now, that never means I am never going to buy these items, but it does mean that I refrain from buying them this month because I also want to get better about if I want something, put it on my wish list, let it sit and simmer there for a while, and if I still want it after a while, then I can treat myself. I will also talk about older products, usually makeup that I have been absolutely loving, tell you what I got rid of, if anything, I'm sorry, I'm reading my list, tell you about other things that are bringing me joy, and then if there's just anything else that I want to chat about in general. So let's jump right into it. We are going to start with everything I did purchase, and I did spend some money this month. <laughs> So let's start with the one piece of makeup, skincare, hair care that I did purchase, and that is the Kosas Airbrow in medium brown. This is what I use every single day, and I had just run out, so I purchased a new one. This is $24, and I did, you know, not get any kind of discount for that. This is such a great product if you are looking for an easy brow product. It has a little spoolie at the end, similar to like a mascara wand. I just brush this through. It adds a light amount of hold and a light amount of tint, and it's perfect for me. That's what I use today. It's just very like grab and go. This is currently my favorite eyebrow product, and I just, I love it. The second I ran out, I had to buy more. The rest of the stuff I bought is all clothing. So. One big reason for this is, I've talked about this before, is that I have gained some weight and while I am trying to be a little healthier in my life, I don't want to save all my clothing for someday when I lose weight because I don't necessarily want losing weight to be the goal of a lifetime. I would like to be healthier, but at the same time, I want to feel good about the body that I'm in now. So I bought some clothing for myself to, you know, treat myself to feel good with where I am now. So the biggest amount that I spent was at Disturbia and it is brand new to me, that whole website. And I bought five dresses for a total. And this was at discount y'all. This was after a 20% discount. I spent $316, okay? It was a lot of money. I spent a lot of money there, but my thought was that like, first of all, these were all dresses and I was like, well, that's an entire outfit. But also, like I said, I just really wanna feel good. Like I love my vintage t-shirts and things like that. And I work from home, so I'm not gonna lie. I'm in sweatpants a lot. Do I feel sexy in sweatpants? No. Do I feel attractive in sweatpants? I don't. So I wanted stuff that was going to make me feel a little bit more put together when I go out. Like I will still wear sweatpants a lot when I'm working from home, not going to lie, but I had started wearing them out of the house and I just want to feel a little more put together. So I did keep four out of the five items. I returned one thing for $64 and I got that as a refund, but I did keep the rest. So all of those you can see in my monthly vlog. I'm not sure if my vlog is coming out before this or after this. But either way, I do a full-on try-on haul in my monthly vlog. If it's already come out, I'll link it down below. And if not, I'll link it down below anyway as soon as it does come out so you can see. I had really, really good luck. I was really surprised. Something else that I bought are more of these. <laughs> So I'll admit, I try really hard in my life to not buy too much fast fashion, but there are some circumstances, namely when it comes to jeans where I do purchase them. Um, and I'm trying to find alternatives that are not $200 a pair, but for now it used to be Old Navy. Old Navy jeans were the only ones that would fit me. And then I recently tried the Halara denim leggings and I'm not like an affiliate or a sponsor or anything like that. I know that I feel like most people who talk about Halara have gotten money for it. I have not, but if they want to call me, I'm listening. But the denim leggings are so cute. Let me show you. So these look just like jeans. They have back pockets and everything. There are no front pockets. There's no zipper, anything like that. But 
the reason that I just bought two more pairs of these is because of uh, that. If you are a thick thighed individual like myself, you know that your thighs rub together like you're trying to start a fire and that's the first place your jeans go. So I've had these for a long time. I wear these like four times a week, I'm not gonna lie. So I just bought two more pairs and the sale was two pairs for $39. So I don't think that's too bad. Another clothing item and I'm still including it in here even though I used a gift card. So I didn't use my own money for this. But when I went to Disney, I just had to get it. Look how cute this little retro Mickey shirt is in this color. Isn't this amazing? So if I had purchased this, it would have been $55. But again, I did use a gift card. This is so, so soft. If you're a Disney person at all, like I will try to link this if I can because everyone needs this sweatshirt. It's so funny because when I was in Disney, this is one of the first things that I saw on the first day and I was like, I love it. And then I started seeing everyone wearing it and I would see it like in the front of each shop and I'd see people like grabbing it left and right. They, sh they were like clearing the shelf. So this was the most popular item when I was there a few weeks ago. Curious if it still is, but it is so soft. Like it genuinely feels like a blanket or a pillow. I love this. I'm so happy I bought it. I don't own a whole lot of like Disney merch, I say, as I have like mouse ears right here in the background, but I really don't own like a ton of clothing. I'm so happy I bought that. And then finally, one other item that I bought, and I can show you a picture of it on the model, but I can't show it on myself yet because I'm not wearing it until next weekend, which will be February. But I did buy a skirt from Anthropology, and this was a splurge for me, like one hell of a splurge. So I'll put a picture of it right here. And it is this pretty like flouncy, um, like chiffon skirt, but it's got like a ton of layers of tulle, like really soft, silky tulle, and it's so beautiful. And I am going to be wearing this to my works gala. So I had put a poll on my Instagram asking people like, is this too casual for a gala? Like, what do you guys think? And we know I was gonna, I am gonna wear it with a plain black t-shirt tucked in and some nice jewelry and heels. It was literally like 50-50 of people who said that it was great and people who said it was too casual. I went with people who said it was great, okay? So I'm gonna be wearing it and I'm very confident in my choice. That was $158 though, I will say that. But I guess when I'm thinking about what I would normally spend on a dress for a gala, I don't know. I will wear this again, by the way. I will absolutely wear this again because especially like when I went in store and saw it for the first time when it was on the model, they had it with like a rock and roll t-shirt and a leather jacket and combat boots and I was like, so that's how I will be styling it normally. I'm going to definitely be wearing it like I've got a couple trips coming up. I'm gonna be wearing the hell out of this thing. So that's it for the stuff that I purchased. And honestly, it was a lot of money when it comes to clothing. It was like 500 bucks, right? Yeah, like 500. Wow, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Guys, I'll be honest, it wasn't until I just said that out loud that I realized I spent $500 on clothing this month. That's insanity, but it's a lot of money. But to be honest, like, I don't feel the need to purchase clothing for quite a while now. And this was all stuff that's really gonna make me feel good. It really is. So yeah, I guess that's all I can say. Oh, wait, 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 I bought something else. I bought a lot of plants, okay? I have this problem where there is a very specific plant store in the Baltimore area that I'm obsessed with. And every time I go in, plants just leap into my arms. I don't know how it happens. I've gotten to the point with the owner where she and I are close enough where I come in. She's like, Linda, you wanna come to the back and see what just came in? And we get all sneaky and I'm like, yeah, let's do it. This is the one that leapt into my hands last weekend, but look how pretty she is. She's a pink, uh, pink perfection syngonium. And I don't know where I'm gonna be putting her yet, but I love her. Look at her, she's got these like beautiful pink leaves and she, she dances. I bought a lot of plants, okay? All right, let's move on to what I received in PR. So I did receive two makeup palettes in PR and I have videos on both of these on my channel. The first one is the Unearthly Cosmetics Dreamer palette. I have wound up loving this so much more than I expected because again, if you know me, you know I'm not necessarily a pink eyeshadow girly and this is very pink, le like heavy leaning, but Unearthly's quality is so damn good. Like these shimmers are so like shifty and intense. Like, let me just rub into this one. It's like got silver and um, not silver, excuse me, rainbow sparkles in it. This one is the super shifty purple shade. Like, look at that. It looks wet. It actually looks wet. So this retails for $60 on their site. At the time that I did my review, it was on pre-order. I'm going to assume it still is, but they did give me a code. You can get 10% off with my code glitter fallout. This is so beautiful. If this is your color story at all, your vibe, 
I highly suggest picking this one up. Oh my God, this color float. I need to use that more because that's just like the perfect champagne with silver sparkle. And this color, one more, one more. This color night owl is the one that surprised me the most, right? It just looks like a chocolate brown, but it feels creamy. It is the most creamy shadow that is matte that I've ever used. I, I really loved this palette way more than I was expecting. So the other palette I received is the Nomad Cosmetics New Zealand Stargazing. I feel like I'm talking about this obsessively at this point. I love this palette. I love this palette so much. It retails for $42, which is such a great price. Nomad, I like that they keep their prices very reasonable considering that they're adding these like duo and multi chromes in here now. This one goes like from straight green. There you see the green and it goes to purple, like a vibrant purple. Where's the other ones? Like this one is so beautiful. It's so hard to show on camera, but it's like a shifty white color. This one goes to like a blue and a pink and uh, a little bit of green in there. This one is vibrant purple, but can look blue as well. Let's see if I can catch that purple shift. It's just beautiful. It's such a gorgeous palette. The mattes are so creamy and opaque. And I love it. And also, I, again, Nomad did give me a code for this as well. And my code is Glitter Fallout. All my codes are going to be listed down below. And what those are, by the way, just real quick, if you don't know what an affiliate code is, that means if you shop through my link or you use my code, you get a discount usually. I will always tell you if you don't, you get a discount and I will get a small commission for referring you. And it's just, it's a very, it makes me happy because it's a very nice way to support my channel if you like what I'm doing here. And I'm just so appreciative of anybody who's ever used my code. It means more to me than you will ever know, but it costs you nothing to use somebody's affiliate code. So I'm very, very happy with both of these. Like I've been using these way more than I thought I ever would. So then just, was this yesterday? Yeah, just yesterday I got a package from Drunk Elephant. So I haven't gotten one from them in a while. And they sent me over the C Firma Fresh Day Serum and the Bouncy Bright Facial. I will show you here. These are the ones that I use every single day. So these are still new in the box. I use these literally every single day. So the firm, C Firma uh, Day Serum, I've talked about this for years. This is my number one vitamin C serum, okay? I have seen more difference with this than any other vitamin C serum I've ever tried. I have seen my skin look brighter and more even. I have seen my dark spots reduced a bit. I just really, really enjoyed this one. I use this literally every single solitary day. It's really, really good for my skin and my skin really agrees with it. The Bouncy Bright Facial is just literally brightening. I mix a pump of this, like a tiny pump in with my moisturizer every day. So I'm using both of these every day. So I'm so thankful to have new ones. Um, but this is really, really nice as well. Again, it helps to brighten up and you see an instant brightness with this, which is really cool. So I feel like vitamin C is one of those things where you have to take the time and put in the effort. This one, I feel like gives you a little instant boost, but of course it also over time does help your skin. I really enjoy this. This does have 1% salicylic acid and 10% um, azelic acid. I'm not familiar. I'm not going to be honest, or I'll be honest with you, but it just does really well. Triple anti antioxidant brightening complex. I really, really enjoy both of these. They also sent over, there's a puzzle in here. I haven't done a puzzle in years, okay? It looks really intense. I want to say it was like a thousand pieces. I think I'm going to have to do it sometime, but isn't this just like a cool piece? Like I want to just display this, but I'm super, super thankful to receive these. Also, I'm a drunk elephant affiliate. How am I saying that? Now I will say, if you use my link for, to purchase drunk elephant products, there is no discount. I'm just gonna be honest with you. There's no discount, but if you do purchase things because I've recommended them to you and you're happy with that, I would love if you'd use the links because I do, again, I receive a commission for recommending you to these products, um, but also I will never recommend to you products that I don't personally enjoy ever because I, I just, don't feel the need to. I'm not gonna be dishonest with you guys. These, again, are ones I use every day. I wish I could take, I tried to take this off to show you how much I've used, but it's just like, you can't see. This is almost empty. This, I've gone through like four or five of these, but everything's gonna be linked down below. And again, if you choose to shop through those links, great. If you prefer not to, that's fine too. So the very last thing that I received in PR, um, this is the last thing, right? Yep, I've talked about this. Um, Melt Cosmetics sent me over their new Moxie lashes and their lash glue. They were very kind to me. I wanna just tell a quick story. I know I'm being very chatty today, but after I was sent, so I was sent the Bailey Sarian collection and that's because 
Uh, Bailey put me on the list to receive that in PR. She is so incredibly freaking sweet. We've talked over the years and she just is amazing and she put me on that list. So I made my video and I was really proud of that video. I love the collection so much. I use it way more than you know. Um, but one of the owners reached out to me and said, I can't believe that you're not already on the PR list. You're going on our PR list. And I was like, I'm sorry, what? But I didn't really believe it until some PR showed up for me. So I'm so thankful. And also like one of the big reasons I'm really thankful about this, first of all, these retail for $12. They sent me two pairs and the lash glue is nine is because one of my kind of vague resolutions for 2024 is that I wanted to try wearing fake lashes again more because I love the way they look. But a lot of times I hate the way they feel. I feel like they feel heavy on my eyes or I don't put them on correctly. Y'all, I really enjoy these. So the band is clear, so it makes it very easy to put on. They are very flexible and they are so lightweight that I do not feel them on. Like it got to a point where when I left my house after putting these on for a video, I forgot that I had them on until I put on my sunglasses and then my sunglasses hit them and I was like, oh yeah. So I'm really enjoying these. Let me know if you've used Melt Lashes before because I wanna try the other, I think they have two other varieties. I want to try them both because these are so comfy. So that is everything that I received in PR. I am always so incredibly thankful that these brands trust me enough to want to send me some of these things. And for you guys, for I'm so thankful to you guys for watching my videos on them. So thank you. Um, let's talk about stuff I wanted to buy but didn't. What I'm shocked about is that three out of these four items are from ColourPop. And I have not wanted ColourPop in a long time time, okay? I have not wanted it for so long, but there were three things, three, I went like this, three, three things that kind of made me twitch this month. The first are those chrome gel liners, the pencil liners. I have the ones from Kaleidos and I love them. I love them so freaking much. And these I've heard are similar quality and beautiful. So I use the Kaleidos uh, liners all the time. I used one today in my waterline. I want more and I'm gonna be honest, this might be something I buy. Like I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy these at some point. I wanna say for the full set, it was $48 and I wanted the full set. And they are so beautiful and pigmented and people are saying that they're amazing. So that might be one that I still buy, but it's just interesting because I haven't been attracted to ColourPop in a while. One of the other things that I'm gonna say made me twitch for a minute, but I've decided I'm absolutely not buying it is the Twilight palette. Now, obviously I can't buy it because it's sold the hell out everywhere. But when I first saw it, I was like, ooh, I kinda like the grungy tones of this, those like muted dusty colors. But then I realized that I have that already in my Nomad Ghost Town palette, which is one of my favorite palettes from last year and I just don't need it. So I'm kind of proud of myself. I was able to completely talk myself out of it because I was thinking about that on release day, like, do I need it? And I'm glad. The third thing that I wanted from ColourPop were those brand new heart shape. Oh shit, look, I'm showing my age because I just did a heart like this. Um, what's the other way to do it? This, the heart shaped blushes. I'm gonna be bitter about this because I'm just old. I'm an old lady. The heart shaped palettes, <laughs> the heart shaped blushes from ColourPop. They are cream blushes and they look so beautiful. And I might try them eventually. I don't need any more cream blushes, but I primarily wear a cream blush. I love a cream blush. And these are $12 each. They're in a cute little compact. I don't know. Have you guys tried them? What do you think? Tell me what you think of ColourPop's cream blush formula. And the fourth thing I wanted to buy has been out for quite some time, but I never bought it the first time around. So Melt has these like glazing powders that are supposed to give your skin this beautiful glow. And they've been on sale now for a while. They've had a sale for 30% off their face products. So this is only $27 and I'm still considering it. Like have any of you guys used it? Because I feel like reviews have been 50-50. Like some people hate it. Some people love it, but from what I've seen, like demonstrations, it just makes the skin look so glowy and beautiful. But I also wonder if it would emphasize texture. So if you've used it, please leave your feedback down below because I'm very curious. Now I want to talk about some old products that I have been loving and two out of the three of these, I don't know if they're available. I'm going to link them wherever I can down below, even if that means maybe linking to them on Poshmark or Mercari or something like that. So first, is the Natasha Denona Duo Glow Blush. This is in the color Rayo number two. And it looks dusty and like light colored pink, but it is such a beautiful, like there's, there's the color, there you can see it. It's like a peachy pink, but it has such a pretty glow to it 
that it really like picks up the light nicely. Like, do you see it where you almost don't need a highlighter? I used it as a blush topper today. I really love this. And again, I think this might be discontinued, which is such a bummer because I really love it. The other thing I've been absolutely loving again is my Radioactive Gloss. This is by Odin's Eye and Aniel Kanikvis. And Radioactive is, it's funny because on the tube, it looks almost like yellow, yellow brown, but really it's like, a clear gloss with a little bit of peachy pink to it and it has these like beautiful sparkles in it that are slightly like blue purple and they look so good like I keep piling this on the center of my lips this gloss is so comfortable and I just I love this color so much if you're looking for a good quality gloss that is not sticky it just feels moisturizing highly recommend and are you ready for the last item? You guys aren't ready for the last item. There's going to be like some people that throw something through their uh, through their computer screen or throw their phone down on the ground. It's the Melt 420 palette. I don't know why, but I picked this palette up a few weeks ago and I was like, oh, I think I want to use this again. And I've picked it up like four or five times since. Guys, I love this palette. I know there's so much hate for it. I know there's so much hate. The color story speaks to me and I don't have any issues with the quality at all. Like it used to be just, I had to work a little harder with it. I don't even have that issue anymore. I don't know what it is. Now I primarily use, I love the color Hash, Dank, and Shotgun. Those are three colors I use very often and they are perfect for me. They go on beautifully. I don't have a lot of kick up. I don't have a lot of fallout. I know there's a lot of hate for this palette. I still effing love it and I've been really crazy about it over the last month. So I say give it a try. I say hate the haters gonna hate it, hate, hate, hate. Isn't that how the song goes? I'm a Swifty. No, I'm not. But really, I enjoy this palette so much. As far as what I got rid of this month, I did put this in my vlog for the month, but I decided to do a brush declutter. So when I did my declutter series at the end of last year, I did not do brushes. So I decided to do a quick one and you'll see it in my vlog for this month. Y'all, I got rid of, and turn this off right here or mute it or something or skip ahead if you don't want to know how many brushes I got rid of. 33. I got rid of 33 brushes. I am so proud of myself. I thought I was going to declutter like five because I do not like decluttering brushes. 33. Thir yes, that's awesome. I'm sorry. I'm really happy about that. I'm very proud of myself for that. I have, I don't think you'll be able to see it. No, you can't. Down here under this shelf, it is full of makeup that I cannot wait to give to my friends. This is the whole declutter is down here right now. And I'm getting together with my friends not until the beginning of March. So it's just going to be sitting there, but I hope they all go through it and ransack the hell out of it. And I know that at least one of you, I know at least one of you watches these videos. There's a lot for you to go through, girl. As far as things that are bringing me joy in general, first of all, I've gotten back into reading again, which makes me so happy. And sometimes that means a physical book. Sometimes that means an audiobook. I still consider all of it to be reading, okay? So two books that I listened to were the autobiographies of Britney Spears and John Stamos, okay? Both of them were fantastic. Britney's is obviously, I'd say, a bit sadder. Um, you know, it's she went through a lot. She went through a lot. I guess I was expecting a little more of it. I don't know what I was expecting. I did enjoy it. Is it the best book I've ever read? No, but it was enjoyable. Now, John Stamos's autobiography surprised the hell out of me. Dude, I was like laughing at one point so hard I couldn't see. And I was also crying at one point so hard I couldn't see. Like I was driving at the time and I pulled over into a parking lot. It's really, really good. If you're a child of the 80s at all, or even if you just like Full House or Fuller House, or you just like him in general, please listen to it. It will blow you away. It is really, really good. And the other book that I read that came out apparently a very long time ago, but I only just read it. I don't have it here because I already lent it to a friend. My Best Friend's Exorcism. It was so good. Oh my god, it was so campy. It's based in the 80s. It's a horror flit, or horror um, book, but at the same time, I feel like it's almost like young adult horror. It is so good. If you haven't read it, read it. I'm going to link it down below. Everybody needs to buy it. And finally, finally for something bringing me joy is a Christmas gift that I got that is so damn cool. I can't even stand it. I showed it on my Instagram stories and people kind of went nuts over it, rightfully so, because so did I. This is a coffee mug. Guys, this is a coffee mug. Look at, look, look. It is a freaking coffee mug and it's from Amazon. So you could have it in like a couple days. How amazing is this? I mean, it is full on Aquanet. And like, look guys, I have 
the blue can of Aquanet on my arm. Okay, so this is the pink can of Aquanet. I like Aquanet. Isn't this like, I have gotten so many compliments every time I carry this out. People are like, wait, are you drinking out of, is that a coffee mug? I love it so much. It's definitely one of my favorite gifts that I got this year. So I'm super pumped about it. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love doing these because it also helps me to keep myself freaking in check when it comes to my spending. It really does because again, I didn't realize that I had spent $500 on clothes this month, like somewhere around there. And that kind of it like makes my heart hurt a little bit. But then again, like I did buy a gala outfit. You know, no, I'm not going to make excuses. I'm not going to make excuses. I'm going to look at this as it's my budget and say, this is what I spent. I'm not necessarily berating myself for it, but I need to know those numbers. So anyway, let me know, what did you splurge on this month? Tell me what you splurged on, but also tell me what did you want to buy, but you didn't. Okay. And you don't have to be on a low buy to tell me those things. I just want to know it all. So give me all the info. But if you liked this video, I would love if you give it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel so much. Everything is going to be linked down below. And as always, if you choose to shop through those links, thank you so much for supporting my channel. It really means the world to me. You all can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are all glitter fallout. And as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars. I love you so, so much with my whole heart and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.